Guys, guys, guys. All right, everyone, stay calm. Everybody stay calm. What's the procedure, everyone? What's the procedure? Stay, What's the procedure? stay calm. So I just had my very first company send me a product to do like a review video on. It is honestly like such an amazing feeling to have any sort of company like recognize like the hard work and time that I've put into these videos. And even though like I would say my channel is relatively like pretty small, not gonna lie, it is still. Um, just for a company to still just see like the quality work that I'm trying to do and then send me a product to just give like my own two cents on. It is honestly like such a blessing and I'm so excited for this. So a little disclaimer, it is completely 100% my own opinions on it. This video is not sponsored. I would hate to recommend a product that doesn't end up being good to you guys. So don't worry. Whatever like my final thoughts are on this product will be my own. Woo! There she is. Oh, beautiful. So this right here is the Olafus Wireless RGB Spotlight and it comes inside of a four pack. Oh, tough packaging here. Let me just show you what one of them looks like really quick. Oh, they're so tiny. <laughs> they're actually kind of cute. Okay, so this is what it looks like right here. So I'm going to go set these up right now, use them for a couple days, and then come back and give my honest review on it. So it's been about a week now since I did that unboxing clip. As you can see, I put two of them on top of my wardrobe right behind me, and then I got one over my USA Hockey jersey, and then one on a Bruins artwork. And so after now having some time playing around with them and getting a good feel for them, I am now ready to just give like my honest thoughts on this product. So these lights are relatively inexpensive products. You can get them on Amazon for $32. And for that price, you do get a lot of bang for your buck. Inside the packaging comes two remotes, each with a pre-installed CR2025 battery inside and an extra battery for the remotes. You get 16 screws for a more permanent installation and four of the RGB spotlights. And these spotlights run off of three AA batteries each, which do not come included oh. in the packaging, so you will have to go out and get your own. So you could probably add about another $10 onto this product, so it comes out to around $42 with the batteries and everything you need to get these working. So as for the design, these have a light with an adjustable joint that allows it to move 350 degrees horizontally and 90 degrees vertically. The base has a diameter of 4.5 inches and a height of two inches, not including the light itself. The light has a diameter of 1.5 inches and when fully tilted up, adds an additional two and a half inches to the overall height of this system. There is a physical button on the side of the base and this allows you to either turn the light on or off or switch between red, green, or blue. On the bottom is a removable mounting plate and by turning it counterclockwise, you can release this from the base itself and this will give you access to where you need to put the batteries inside. So one important thing to note about these lights is that they are not smart lights. So you do need to use the remote to kind of get the most out of them. And there is no app to accompany these lights. The remote gives you control with turning the lights on and off, switching between red, green, and blue, brightness adjustments from 20, 40, 60, 80, and 100%, a fade mode, which will allow you to fade between many more colors than just red, green, and blue. You can also adjust the speed of this fade using the S plus or S minus buttons. So the only way to make these lights stay on like an additional color besides the RGB is to put it into a fade mode and pressing the play slash pause button right under it, it will stop it at whatever color you want. So it's really like a patience game and you might have to go through like the full fade cycle a couple times until you get the exact color that you do want. But I really wish that the remote did come with more color options instead of just RGB. 
but at least like you can get like the purples, like the lighter greens, yellows. Lastly on the remote are timer options for either 30 minutes, an hour, two hours, or four hours. And I really do appreciate this feature. So anytime I turn my lights on, I will press like either the two or the four hour timer just in case like I leave my room within that set amount of time, they'll turn off by themselves. And there's just a great way to help save battery so you're not always going out buying new batteries. So now I wanna get into the things that I like and dislike about these lights. The first thing I like is just how small these are. And this really gives you the freedom to put them almost anywhere you want and they'll either blend into your background or you can put them behind things that other lights aren't able to fit behind. And kind of going hand in hand with that, yes, these are battery powered, but there's pros and cons to that. Of course, the con is that you're gonna have to change out the batteries every once in a while, but the pro is that you don't have to worry about like a cable and plugging these into wherever. So you won't have like an ugly cable hanging from your wall, like <laughs> some of my lights I have actually. Um, these are just great to kind of put anywhere in a background and they will fit right in. I also appreciate Olafus's solution to changing out the batteries for these as well. By having the light removed from the base plate means you don't have to completely remove the whole entire system just to change out the batteries. You can easily rotate the light, change out the batteries when needed, and then put it back and it's exactly where it needs to be in the same spot. And the last thing that I really like about these lights is the adjustable head itself. It allows you complete freedom to kind of get any angle you want and to really shine this light anywhere that you need it to shine. So now getting to my dislikes, the first thing that I don't like about these lights is that the batteries are not included with the whole package itself. So yes, like it's just $32 for four lights, but when you get like a pack of batteries for like 10 or 12 bucks, like you're already pushing $45 now. So like I would have rather them just like included that in it. And it's also a headache to just go out and get the batteries, especially for the first time when trying to use them. So the next thing I don't like is how these don't have any sort of white light option to them. If you want one of these that does have a white light, then Alafa sells a four pack just for that on their Amazon account, but those do not have any sort of RGB effects as well. So it would be nice for them to sell a product with kind of all that included, you know, like the best of both worlds, but it's completely separate, so you're stuck with colors with these lights. The next thing I don't like is that this remote has a very wide signal to it, so this can be a good and a bad thing. It can be a bad thing because when you wanna select a very specific color for a specific light, then you're gonna to have to go right up to it and hopefully it won't change other lights around it. But on the other hand, this could also be a good thing because if you just want all four of your lights to be like the same color, like a blue, then it's easily just press on, press that one button and they'll all change to it. But I do like a little color combination usually with my lights. So that is a little more difficult to achieve with this remote. And the last thing that I don't really like about these is with such a small light inside and like a really small hole for the light to shine through, these are very directional. And so up close to an object, the light really doesn't look that good and it's very harsh. So just my personal preference, I think these lights are best used at like a slight distance away from an object or a wall that you want the light shining on and this will allow the light to be softer and just cover more area and just not be so harsh and like very directional. So for my final thoughts on the Olafus RGB spotlights, for $32, more like 45 with the batteries, <laughs> um, you can actually get like a lot of value out of these and you can really help spice up your setup and just add a bunch of color in very specific places. I also think that these will be great to show off posters in a row, or if you have a collection at home, then using these to light up the individual items in your collection could give it a really cool look as well. So again, I wanna give a huge thanks to Alafis for sending me these products. I'll never forget you, Alafis. You were my first company and I absolutely love that. So I also hope that you enjoyed the review as well. So if you enjoyed the video or if you learned something new, then please don't forget to hit the like button down below and also subscribe as it helps me out a lot and I really don't want to miss anything else I have in the future. And with that being said, have a great day everyone and cheers.